imagine the situation where you and your team is working on particular project and you have divided task of that project in between your teammates and you have got chance to work on login system okay you have implemented your login logic you have created containers locally and locally everything is working fine and now you want to share your work with your teammates how are you going to share your work with your teammates because you have running container locally how are you going to share your container with your teammates okay in their machine so that's what we are going to see in this video so in a docker we have import and export command so using that commands we can import new images inside our instance or else we can export our container as a zip file or as a tar file and we can send that tar file with our teammates so that teammate can import that into their machines so this is how it works so let's see this in action so first of all let's quickly launch new instance currently we do not have any container running on this instance so let's quickly run new container so in this case i'm going to use docker run command and i will use hyphen it basically it will open command prompt of our container we have seen this in our previous video and as a demo image i'm going to use ubuntu operating system okay and then i will pass bin bash basically this will help us accessing bash command prompt of our ubuntu operating system okay as soon as i run this first of all it will start downloading the image and now here we have access of command prompt and this command prompt is of our ubuntu image all right let's see what we have in this image so as soon as i put ls we have this folders in here so let me create new folder inside of it I will use mkdir command to create demo folder okay and if I use ls we have this demo folder here which was not here in this case let's create two more folders let's say demo 2 let's say demo 1 and demo 2 all right so here we have a running ubuntu container and we have customized it we have created some folders in it okay so this is what happened in real life and this is what happened in real life scenario as well you will use some base image you will create container of it and you will do some work in it and you want to share your created work with your teammates okay so currently consider the folders that we have created is nothing but the work we have done inside the container and we want to share this work with someone else okay clear up to this point all right moving on so now i want to exit from this container but i want to keep this container running so for that purpose we have one keyboard shortcuts just you just have to press ctrl p and q okay now i have exited container command prompt and now i'm inside of my instance command prompt all right let me clear this first and let's use docker container list command so this command will list all the running containers okay so currently we have one container running and in this container we have some personalized folders in it and now i want to share this work with my teammates so first of all i will need to export this running container as a zip file okay so for that purpose we have one docker command and that command is docker export as an argument you have to pass your container id you don't have to specify this complete container id you just specify some initials okay and make sure this initials is unique amongst all running containers okay and then we will have to pass this right arrow key and you'll have to mention name of your zip file so let's say my ubuntu dot zip Alright, so now we have our Ubuntu image exported. Let's simply put ls command. Okay, so as you can see inside this folder in our running instance, we have one zip file. This is our customized image. So you can share this zip file with your teammates. Now there are multiple ways of sharing this image. You can push this image into dedicated server location from where your teammate will download it. Another way is you can push this image into your docker hub account and your teammates will use it 
and one of the easiest way you can simply copy this zip file into your pen drive and you can share that with your teammates okay so currently we cannot do it because we are on docker playground and we don't have any other instance running right now and i'm going to mimic this process in this server itself i'm going to import this image inside our current server itself okay so now let's see how your teammate will import it in a similar way we exported our container image we have another command and that command is docker import so simply use docker import command then you, you will have to pass hyphen and then you will have to specify name which you would like to give to this particular image so i'm going to give it the same name if you want you can give it another name well let's use simple name i'm simply going to give it a name my u b then you will have to put left arrow key and then you have to put name of the zip file so in in my case it is my ubuntu dot zip that's pretty much it let's give space all right so this is our complete command if i hit it and let's see available images so currently we have two images this is what we have imported eight seconds ago and this is our first container image all right so now we have image in our local system we can create container of this image okay i'm gonna go ahead and create container of, of this image and let's see if we still have those folders which we have created before exporting our container all right so let's quickly do that so we have docker run command and this is my image name i'm gonna use hyphen it because i want to access shell of this container and i'm gonna use bin bash i have already explained why we do this okay so as soon as i hit this command okay so now currently we are inside of this image container okay and now let's see now let's use ls command all right so as you can see here we have demo folder demo 2 folder demo 1 folder which we have created before exporting our image so in short we can say we have all the work which we did in our container before exporting in this imported container okay so this is how you can share your work with your teammates so i hope you have understood this entire topic thanks for watching